Hey, what's going on? It's your boy BT, and I came here to talk some boxing with the thousands of true school sports and subscribers. What's going on, guys? Let's go, champ! Shannon the Cannon Briggs, shout out to Shannon Briggs and the Heavyweight Factor. Shout out to the Riddick Bow right behind me in that, with, with that picture. I know a lot of you guys might wonder who, who is the guy in this picture. It's, it's, it's Riddick Bow for those of you um, who want to know. But uh, recently on Fight Hype, David Hay put out an interview, and he actually talked about the Shannon Briggs situation. So uh, I'm gonna give my take on what is some of his comments, but we're gonna we're, we're gonna sit here and we're gonna listen to it. So here's the the interview. I'll leave it for you guys in the description as well. So here's here's the interview on Fight Hype. Here's what he said. Listen, Briggs makes uh, so much noise. I'd love that fight, but it has to it has to be it has to be on pay per view for him to fight me. After this fight, it may be able to be on pay-per-view, so that fight might be able to happen then. But up until this point, it can't happen because he can't get the WBA title online, which he said he could get. So I think that all that screaming and shouting is all good and well, but if you're not willing to fight on a terrestrial network like he wasn't up until this point, then stop shouting. But, you know, there's a few sort of people online who listen to screaming so much they believe everything he says so let them keep believing it and it, as long as they as long as they're engaged in some way for one some way shape or form good luck to him but um come fight night you know he's got no chance of beating me in any way shape or form he's got about as much chance as tony belly has i'm just way too fast way too agile punch too hard and um, if he thought he if he thought he took a beating against Vitaly Klitschko, whew, he's in a he's just, he's going to get that times ten, you know. But hope to some extent he might get a shot at the WBA title now as well. So great if he can whip, I can get that title. Then it'd be a fight that I think I'd like that fight. I'd definitely like that fight because there's a there's a few people online particularly who want to see that fight. So great. Thanks, guys. Thanks Thank you very much. You. All right, so there you have it. David Hay basically says first of all you got to understand what David Hay. We can't believe anything he says because this is the same guy who looked Shannon Briggs square in the eye and said, if you fight him on undercard, I'll fight you, Shannon. Shannon went to England, fought on his undercard, won, and time has went by and still no fight. So now he's saying, oh, you know, if I get the WBA title, if Shannon gets the WBA title, then we can fight on pay-per-view. But I'm not going to fight Shannon because he wants to be on pay-per-view. But he's going to fight Tony Bellew, and that's supposed to be a pay-per-view fight, if I'm not mistaken. You guys can correct me in the comments if I'm wrong, but... I'm pretty sure the Tony Bell U fight is going to be on Sky Box Office over in the UK. So, I find it hilarious because now Shannon is over here in the States of South Florida across the pond. And David Hay wants to stick his chest out. And he wants to be someone who, who, who acts tough. But when Shannon was right in his face saying, let's go champ, what's stopping you champ? You know, he's scared. All this stuff. He touched his hair and he didn't do nothing. And... Now, now that he's not around, now you want, now you want to stick your chest out and, and talk certain ways about Shannon. So, um, you know, hopefully you, you can get past Bellew. I'll be rooting for Tony Bellew to win. But if, if you should do what most people expect, um, you know, make the fight happen already, man. It'd be a big fight for the UK because a lot of people like Shannon. Shannon's caught a, a, a massive, a uh, lot of traction in the boxing world, beyond the boxing world even, with this Let's Go Champ movement. Um, and look, David Hay can. David Hay is deluded because, listen, you are not in any way, shape, or form as great as Vitaly Klitschko. All right? Vladimir is one thing. You fought Vladimir, and you didn't fight to win. You fought to not get knocked out. So you could say, that, well, I didn't get knocked out by Vladimir Klitschko. If you fought Vitaly, Vitaly would have sparked your ass. Like, like you you, you would have got destroyed. You would have got seriously beat. The beating Shannon took... You would have got knocked out probably in the sixth round by Vitaly Klitschko. Vitaly Klitschko has a much more of a mean streak than his brother ever had. And anybody who's watched him knows that. So with that being said, David Hay, make the fight or stop talking about Shannon Briggs. And I really hope, because I'm, I, I don't know when, but eventually I'm, I'm going to go by the heavyweight factor. I'm, I'm going to go talk to Shannon about, just to, maybe get, get an interview with him or just to say hi to him. But, you know... I'm gonna ask him again, cause maybe 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 he changed his mind. I'm gonna ask him a few plans on going to uh, to go see that fight. I think he should. I think for uh, promotional purposes, he should go and be ringside at that fight. And if David happens to win in sensational fashion, he he should get in the ring and start the young Let's Go Champ and all this stuff. I think it'd be great for him. But uh, we'll see what happens, man. David Hay responds to uh, potential of a Shannon Briggs fight. Let me know what you guys think. Uh, do you think David Hay is still scared, or is it, is it all just talk? As it always as it's always been with David Hay, or do you genuinely and sincerely believe 
he will fight Shannon Briggs. Let me know in the comments down below. Take the time to subscribe and you can love me or you can hate me. But I'm just kidding from Daniel. So until next time, take care guys.